Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So I done messed around and found out what happened, and y'all know I do not mind my business. So I had to search high and low. I had to watch a few videos and I had to read a few comments, but I done figured out what the hell happened. And before we get into that, let's just say Mel said, if you hoes gonna keep saying my name, you might as well go ahead and purchase the outfit too. Baby, Mel and Jay Bowling back at it again and when she was on live yesterday she did say her and jay bolin had a photo shoot and that's where she was on her way to she was on her way to do her photo shoot with jay bolin girl why an hour ago she posted the photo shoot that she was doing with jay bolin they releasing another collection and i'm locked in i'm locked in this might be the best one yet let's get into it don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that i upload we are going to talk about this in a separate video but i wanted to add this in this video because i was scrolling on instagram when i seen this as i was making this video and i'm so excited the looks mill and jay bolin give be top tier but Mel okay listen to me okay cuz I really rock with you and I'm on YouTube and I know the YouTube side of things and how stuff be working and all I want to know is which one of you hoes did it which one of you hoes done messed around and got Mel riled up cuz Mel went live on Instagram and she basically let it be known that she is tired of people playing with her don't come for her when she's trying to do positive things for the community and so many people were telling me like oh she's talking about al because al shaded her giveaway etc etc mail ignore these people ignore what the people are sending you because you are a busy lady okay so you ain't got no damn time to be running and searching on youtube to figure out what's actually going on like i do and baby i don't think nobody shaded you and believe me if you were shaded i'm telling you now i would tell you i would tell you okay and melameters I would tell y'all. Oh, so let me tell y'all what I believe is going on. Because I truly believe there is some confusion. First of all, we all know Mel and AL have fallen out. Not that they were ever really cool. AL was really close to Dunn and Dunn is Mel's manager. There was a falling out with AL and Dunn. So AL, a while ago, made a post using a picture of Mel and basically saying that he was going to expose what happened with their relationship. And so many people didn't like this because it turned out that his biggest issue was with Don, which is Mel's manager. And people felt like he, should, he shouldn't have used Mel's picture in order to promote the live that he was going to do, letting people know what happened with him and Don. So it's quite natural when Mel made makes a post saying that she's going to do a $300 giveaway. How some people may have interpreted AL's post that he made on his community feed about some hoping that somebody applied to get the $300 would make you feel like he's shading Mill. Hold on now, because I am not on there to be nobody guard dog, because don't ever get it twisted, right? I just want to call a spade a spade. I told y'all I was going to figure out what happened, and this is just actually what happened. I have been on vacation, okay? So I didn't even know that there was content creator beef. Apparently, AL and Unan, and please excuse me because I am not trying to laugh at these people's hardships, but I'm not going to lie, I am tickled by the story. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not going to lie, I am kind of tickled by what is going on behind the scenes. So apparently, and I can be wrong about this, but apparently... Aunt Anne sued AL. AL made a video about it being dismissed. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry because this shit is really not funny, but it's so funny. And please excuse me because I don't take nothing serious. I 
I am not trying to laugh at what these people are going through. I am merely just trying to tell the story and it is my issue that I do not take anything serious. Okay, so AL made a video about it being dismissed. Apparently, Aunt Ann sued AL for, or she didn't sue him, but I think she put out a protective order on him. Look, we need to get trending on the case, okay? Trending, look, I know you don't do this type of stuff. But Lord, please, because <laughs> this shit is not funny. Okay, I'm sorry, because I know a lot of y'all going to be so pissed off that I'm even telling the story. And then the fact that I'm telling it and I can't tell it with a straight face is I just know. I'm sorry. So, Aunt Anne put out a protective order on AL. Apparently, that case was dismissed and Aunt Anne basically filed an appeal to go to circuit court now i could be wrong but this is how i'm interpreting everything so basically so basically because aunt ann filed an appeal al basically wants her to pay for his lawyer fees in the time wasted this is just how i'm interpreting it so he went on his community feed and posted oh so this is what y'all talking about screenshot whatever you want child y'all stay making something about her talking about male but the post said heavy hitter i hope you apply to get that 300 because you will need every coin to pay me so basically he was saying that in that post he was shading aunt Ann for being a millimeter and saying she should apply for the giveaway to win the 300 dollars because she gonna need every coin to pay him and again i don't believe any of this shit is funny i just don't take nothing serious so i'm making this video because i said i don't mind my business in the last video and i was gonna try to figure out what happened so i'm just sticking to my word and i'm just telling y'all what i found do with this information what you will now i'm obviously team male all day but i don't actually believe male is talking about al in her life i don't know what's going on behind the scenes but i believe she may be talking about somebody else however if she is talking about al in this live is because people have sent her the post AL made believing that he was shading Mel. And Mel wouldn't know if he is shading her or not because she wouldn't know the content creator beef behind the scenes. And I guess this is why I knew to add in my last video that y'all need to stop getting this lady amped up because she has a brand to protect and she genuinely wouldn't know if there is shade being thrown behind her on YouTube, if there isn't a clear stamp on it. And the only reason I say that is because it is so much YouTube behind the scenes beef that y'all just do not be knowing about. And if y'all don't be knowing about it, how the hell Mel gonna be knowing about it? So I'm just here for Mel. Mel has been kind to me. She's real. She's honest. She has been transparent with her story. I appreciate the message in her journey. So I'm here for Mel all day. In the same breath, AL has always been kind to me. And like I said, he reached out to me when people were attacking me on YouTube behind that Megamon hole that was clearly clout chasing. Him along with a few other YouTubers that I feel like I will forever have some type of respect for. And so, yeah, that's the story. I'm here to be honest and AL, no. I would turn on him in 3.5 seconds behind me. And truthfully, I don't think he would care. But y'all know, I'm heavy on the meter all day long. That being said, I think it's one more thing that I'm missing. I believe, I also, and I'm so sorry if I didn't tell the entire story. Like I said, I'm just telling the story from what I perceived it to be due to what I looked into. So I also believe that Aunt Anne said that al doxed her and truth be told if i watch everybody video in full it'll take me longer than a day to let y'all know what's happening so i don't know get in the comments y'all let me know if i'm missing anything do with this information what you will i don't think mel is talking about al but if she is talking about al it's because y'all not sent her the wrong information regardless mel I would suggest you live your beautiful, classy, healthy, loving, peaceful life. Don't address anything because it's not worth it. You're above it. However, if there are receipts you want to post, go ahead and post them because, baby, we write it done. And y'all, leave me alone. Do not be bothering that lady.
be a little bit more considerate. And by considerate, I mean, if y'all are going to send her stuff saying that it's about her, give her a full in-depth PowerPoint with proof and your reasonings on why. One, it makes it easier for her to understand clearly what's going on if she needs to be aware of anything that's going on. And two, it will prevent her from getting on social media, acknowledging things and bringing light to things that don't need to be acknowledged or shine any lights on. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Bye. Uh -huh.